Uh, this after this November, I should say, Avon Lake residents will vote on two ballot issues concerning additional funding for schools. Now, those in favor argue the district will have to close an elementary school and cut school programs if they don't get the money. While some say this is too big of an ask for taxpayers. Yeah, Annabelle Childers is live outside Erie View Elementary School. And Annabelle, break, the, break down these issues for us. Yeah, well, guys, we talked today with a senior who says he's already feeling the impacts of increased property taxes and believes the school should make do with the revenue that they're already getting from those. But the group advocating for this says the district truly is asking for help with school needs. And they say this school, Erie View Elementary, will have to close next fall if these issues don't pass. Now, according to their website, the group's website called Avon Lake Citizens for Schools, they feature images of leaking ceilings, puddles on floors and outdated security features. They reference those pictures as evidence. The school district needs to build new schools and pass those issues. Now, issue 15 is a bond. If that one passes, it would allocate money for those new schools. Issue 16 is an operating levy, which would generate funding for existing programs and prevent the district from cutting staff and services. We don't want to see our schools go into debt. We don't want to see programs cut. We don't want to see any of these ha things happening. Um, and so I think that's a really important message for people to know and understand. It's like the district doesn't have this money. I'm going to be able to pay it personally, but there's a, I know a lot of people that are going to have trouble because they are on a, a very fixed income. Now that was Ron Oxenwald, a senior living here in Avon Lake. He believes the school district is asking for too much. He thinks there are more cost effective solutions to addressing issues, and he believes he doesn't have adequate information on these issues to vote yes at this time. Now looking at the financial impact, if these past property owners would have to pay an additional $414 per $100,000 of estimated home value. But they say a prior past bond is set to expire in 2020 six, which would bring that annual increase to around $349 per $100,000 of estimated home value. Now, we also spoke with the superintendent of this school district about what this would mean, what cuts would have to be made. At 5 o'clock, we'll share those. Okay, we look forward to that. Annabelle, thank you.